Welcome to Treasures of the Heart TV. I'm your host, Thomas Sly, joined by my beautiful queen, Jeanette Sly. And family, we are fighting, we are praying, and we are winning. Check out these shirts sent to us by our sister out there in Washington State. We thank God for you, Soleil. Thank you for sending us these shirts. We also want to shout out our sister Sonia out there as well, and Linda Helms right here in the great state of Maryland. We want to let you know that we are standing with you, and God is able. God is more than able. To God be the glory for you. Joining us on today's program, we have our sister Galacia Townsend, who will be blessing you with another poem, and we have Sanchez Tannehill joining us from the great state of Alabama. He is a gospel recording artist traveling the country, and we want to share about this great choir in Philadelphia called Divine Praise. They are our family. Honey, you want to share about them a little bit? Amen, sure. Um, Divine Praise is very dear to my heart because that's where I met my husband. Um, All right. My husband, Thomas Sly, here. And it started out with just two individuals that God had birthed a dream. And they just wanted to sing and they just wanted to lift up the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And it was in high school yeah. um, that my husband and my best friend, Gracie Rayner, who is now Gracie um, Brickhouse, just started to you know form a group and we started out in their homes and we had rehearsals every you know week and we were just just excited about God and excited about the songs that he had given us to share with the world and yeah. out of all of that were birthed individuals that became adults and there yeah. were friendships that were formed there were marriages that were birthed all in that ministry mm -hmm. and God just did some great things yes and Today, this ministry is still going and it's still going strong. Yes, God is, is continuing to bless them as they sing all across the world under the direction of Gracie Brickhouse and Robert Brickhouse. And they are doing a phenomenal job just continuing yes. to lead the people of God into songs and praises unto him mm -hmm. because it is him that makes the difference. Yes. And it's just a blessing to see that God's word is true. That he said if you would just walk up right before, right before him that he will withhold no good thing. Amen. And nothing but good things have come through that ministry. And I just praise God to, and I call, I feel that it is an honor and a privilege Amen. to be able to say that I have been a member, and I still am a member Amen. of Divine Praise Ministry. Amen. And it will just continue to grow, and God will continue to bless it, because they are continuing to lift Him yes, up. Yes, they are. And He said, if I be lifted up, that He will draw all oh, men man. unto Him. So I love Divine Praise. They are dear to me. They will always be my family. Amen. And I am just so proud of them, of all the good things that God God is allowing them to see yes. and as they continue to give him glory and give him praises all men will continue to come unto God so it is a blessing to be a part of divine praise to God be the glory for divine praise and God is an awesome God you are an awesome God Amen. here is our family divine praise
Hello, family. Thank you for having me back again this week. I'm happy to be back. I wrote a piece, and this piece is called It's Praying Time. This piece derived from kind of everything that's going on right now. So I want to speak to today um, with the Ebola virus and, you know, fear of things and just the wars and still rumors of wars. And I kind of wanted to just address that and that prayer is so important. I'm a firm believer that prayer changes things. So as a family, as a nation, we need to pray. So this piece is called, It's Praying Time. I bear witness to the happenings of the world today, and I know not to worry because I can just pray. See, I hear of wars and rumors of wars, but I don't fret because Jesus says, see that you're not troubled. So his word, I don't forget. See, I know all these things must come to pass. However, the end is not yet. Nations will rise against nations and kingdoms against kingdoms. Just listen to the threats. And there'll be famine, diseases, viruses, like Ebola in various places. I mean, just look and listen, because currently, that's what the case is. However, all of these are just the beginning of sorrows. And each day has enough trouble of its own, so we can't worry about tomorrow. But I can pray today for those which are lost. I can pray that they come to know that Jesus paid the cost. I can pray for those that are sick and stricken with disease. I can pray for healing, comfort, and God mercies. I can pray today for those lives that are lost in wars. Although I'm confused and sometimes I even forget what we're fighting for. But Lord, I pray for you to watch over all of our souls. As we watch the events of what's going on and we have no control, Lord, I know it's all in your hands, the events in the near and the far lands. Lord, please just saturate us with your word so deep that we know for ourselves and it's not something that we've heard. As we look at the troubles of today, protect us, God, and guide us is what I pray. God, please keep our hearts and our mind because these are the last days. And family, it's praying time. Just for me, even when nobody could see, when that doctor said no. Welcome back to Treaders of the Heart TV. Today, I have the distinct pleasure to have a conversation with gospel recording artist, Sanchez Tannehill. I wanted to sit down and take my seat and relax for this conversation. This young man is anointed and he's from Alabaster, Alabama, and we're happy he's joining us today. How you doing down there, Sanchez? I'm good, enjoying this two week break from the Unstoppable Tour. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. 
why don't you share with us for a few moments your testimony, how you got, how you started singing, how you got started out in the gospel music industry? Uh, I was born a healthy child, but at the age of six weeks old, I had a stroke. The doctor said I would never walk, never talk. By my parents being a praying parents that they is, I made it through. So at the age of 16 years old, I took my ministry very seriously. So I traveled from state to state sharing the good news of Jesus Christ. If he did it for me, he can do it for you. Absolutely wonderful. Can you share with us and talk about the CD projects that you released over the years? My first album, Just Me, talking about my journey with the Lord and talking about my growth with the Lord. My second album, The Work of an Artist, talking about keep praying. No matter what you're going through in life, you gotta keep praying. And my last album, talking about God did it. God did it. It's talking about my story. My story and my situation and leading up to now. To God be the glory for that, Sanchez. Let's talk about God did it. I see pictures of you all over Facebook and social media, the God did it campaign. Can you talk about that and share with us where that came from? I was laying in bed one night thinking about all my blessings and what God has done for me. And it came to my mind, God did it. And so that's where that, it came from. And now it's on shirts, cars, tags, all over the world, all over the world. And I give God the praise and the honor. Can you talk about what you're recently doing? I know you've been on tour traveling across the country. Just got off a tour, taking a break right now. Uh, just got back from Texas, Louisiana, Arizona, and now finishing up my book and hopefully finish up the tour in a couple of weeks. Man, God has you. You are on the move, building his kingdom through song, and not ashamed to share your testimony to encourage the brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. For these last few moments, just share whatever God's put on your heart to share with all the treasures of the Heart TV viewers. Go for your dream. Don't give up. You can make it. Like my song say, keep praying. You can make it. It's gonna be stumbling blocks thrown in your way, but go for it. Go for your goal. God bless you. My brother, it has been a blessing connecting with you right here on Shredders of the Heart TV. Why don't you take a few moments and tell everybody how they can contact you. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, Sanchez underscore Jeff Me. Or you can connect with me on my website, Sanchez tannyhill.com until then god bless you make a joyful noise for sanchez tannahill it has been our pleasure to have this young man on our show today he is doing great things in the body of christ and you will hear from him again and it is our hope to have him come up and minister live on treasures of the heart tv and our kingdom builder concert series to god be the glory keep it tuned in family
Yeah. 